smoke is put off of this fire or it gets too intense, we need you all to disperse back, okay? You're going to want to do that anyway, but I'll probably let you know, just start moving back, all right? Hopefully, hopefully we're going to be okay. Let's talk a little bit about why we're here today, okay? We're here for Fire Prevention Week. We call it our open house, but nationally, this is National Fire Prevention Week. Does anybody know why this week is National Fire Prevention Week? Okay, perfect. Timer right there. <laughs> so that's why we're here. We're here to learn, okay? In 1871, Mrs. O'Leary's cow, so they say, kicked over a lantern and burned half of Chicago to the ground. Okay, 300 people lost their lives. And that's why Chicago is called the second city, because it was actually rebuilt a second time. If anybody doesn't uh, know that trivia, that's why. Now, to give you a little bit of a perspective on half of Chicago, 3.3 square miles, that's like saying half of Temple Terrace. So you can imagine half of this city burning to the ground. All right? Well, in honor of those that lost their lives, this week, is considered Fire Prevention Week. So every year, that's why we hold it during this week of October, okay? Now, just, just so you're aware of what's going on here, uh, last year, there were over a million fires in the United States. And of those wow. fires, over 3,200 people lost their lives. Wow. All right? What we're gonna show you is a demonstration of a room that's not protected with the fire sprinkler and one that is. And the reason why this is important is because you're going to see how fast the module with the fire sprinkler is going to put this fire out. And had those 3,250 people been in a property with a fire sprinkler, they would not have lost their lives. So this is very, very important to us. We're going to go into uh, smoke detectors as well, but you're going to hear those go off. Now, what I'm going to need from you guys is I'm going to need a little participation. When you start to see smoke, I want you to say something, okay? Yell, scream, whatever, because the gentleman over there is going to start the clock. That clock is important to us because we're going to show you how long, or I should say, how, how quickly this fire is going to develop. Okay, and it's going to eventually reach a stage that we call flashover. Now, what's important about that word flashover is at that moment when this room completely ignites all at once, nobody can survive it, not even firefighters in their protective clothing. So that's very, very important. I want you to see how fast that's going to happen. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get the first unit lit. Over. You're going to be looking at about 12 to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. Basically, what that is is the entire room is going to reach a temperature at which everything sitting in there is flammable and it's all going to ignite at one time. Okay? Hence the word flash over. So it's a pretty interesting phenomenon. However, we don't ever want to be caught in that predicament. That's why fire sprinklers are extremely important for the folks living in the property as well as the, the firefighters that come in to protect you. Okay, they, they got the timer started. So just pay attention to the timer as well as the growth of the fire. You hear the smoke detector going off? Pretty quick. We're at about 30 seconds and the smoke is already down to the ground, okay? So you can see why we want to have you crawl low in smoke. You can see down there, correct? Wow. All right. We're only at about 40, 45 seconds right now. Now think about that. So we're at a minute. Are you watching? We got things dripping off the ceiling. In some cases, 911 might not even have been called at this point. 
you know, it takes takes a few minutes for somebody to notice this, a neighbor or even the person in the home before they call. So now we have the couch or the chair in there free burning. What that means is it doesn't need any help anymore, okay? It's going to it's going to burn and and produce heat flames and smoke all on its own. We don't need to assist it anymore. It's going to continue to develop. So we're right at about two minutes. Not a lot of time. Okay, at this point, we could only hope that you've already gotten out of your home because as you see, the smoke is now at floor level. Okay? What you're going to hear and see is all real. Okay? This is exactly what we're going to experience when we go into the home. Things are going to be breaking, dropping down on top of the firefighters. Okay. So the house just flashed over, okay? Flash over. Give those firefighters a round of applause. They do this job for you day in and day out. They love it. They're proud to serve you, but this is what they do. Now we're right at about three minutes before we got this fire put out. Three minutes is, is, is barely enough time for me to get out of bed in the morning. Okay? So you can see how fast something like that can develop. Unfortunately, in 2015, 3,250, or excuse me, uh, 3,000, about 300 people never made it out of that scenario. Okay? But there's a solution. And if we have fire sprinklers installed in our homes, or we live in properties that have them installed, we're going to show you how it will never get this dangerous. Now we're going to do the same thing. I need your participation. So when you see smoke in that unit to the left, you're going to go ahead and say smoke. And we're going to start that timer. Flare. Where were we at on the last one? How long was it before that unit flashed over? Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. That temperature was hot enough that... Okay, there it is, you're right. I need to clean my glasses. Okay, the timer is set. Okay, see how fast that fire is built? The sprinkler activated. And that fire is already suppressed. 20 seconds. Okay. That's a completely survivable situation right there. You and your family could have easily gotten out of that. And if you weren't home, it would have saved your property. Okay? Spectral what do you think? Advance going off. Do fire sprinklers save lives? Yeah. They save property, right? You think this is something that's pretty important in the state that we should stand behind? I think so too. Well, there's an initiative out there right now to try and get homes that are built and have sprinklers installed in them when that home is built brand new. And this is the reason why. You know, about a year ago, maybe a little longer, four people lost their lives here in Tampa. Three children and a grandmother. This, this home didn't have sprinklers. It didn't even have working smoke detectors. Smoke detectors in Hillsborough County, I can tell you right now that we'll put them in for you for free and we'll give them to you for free. Okay, so it costs nothing to save your life. You can hear those smoke detectors still going off in there. There's no excuse for not having a working smoke detector in your home. Okay? If they have batteries, replace them every six months. Change your clocks, change your batteries. A lot of your smoke detectors now have 10-year batteries built in, so you don't even have to worry about that for 10 years. 
The message this year that the National Fire Protection Association is asking us to tell you is to check the date on the back of your smoke detector. If it's over 10 years old, it's no longer any good. Okay? After 10 years, we're going to get rid of your smoke detectors. If you live in Temple Terrace, I want you to call my office. Okay? We will come and install them for you if they're over 10 years. If you need a smoke detector, we'll get them to you. Okay? Also, how many people work on their exit drill in the home? Anybody here? School children, you learn about this in school, right? Here's what I want you to do after this demonstration is complete, which is just a couple minutes. I want you to go over to the children's safety house and see Vivian. Okay, Vivian's going to teach you about fire safety in your home. All right? Did you guys have a good time? You see that unit on the left? The furniture is still good. Might have a little smoke, smoke damage, and see it be cleaned up, but everything there is saved, including the people. We appreciate you coming out. Vivian, do you have anything for these children? Okay. I encourage you to go over to the east side of the, the fire station. Enjoy a hot dog and a soda. It's getting pretty warm out. We have water. On the corner of Bullard and Broadway, we have a bunch of kids' corner activities where your children can pretend to be just like these firefighters out here. Have a good time. We'll see you soon, okay? Go inside and enjoy a puppet show, please. Everything here is for you guys today. Thank you. Grandma's not gonna go to the house. Talk to me.